Can you own property in Mexico? Can you own property in Cancun? Can you own property in Cabo? Can you own property in Puerto Vallarta? Can you own property in Ciudad de Mexico? Can you own property in Guadalajara? I don't know, can you? Well, we're gonna get into this video. We're gonna find out. I'm gonna tell you where you cannot own property. Okay, well, it's where it's extremely difficult to own property. Thailand, I lived in Thailand for five years and check it out, you can only own 49% of the property. You can only own 49% of a business. And that's not just Thailand, that's all of Southeast Asia. So do you really wanna go and buy a house and own 49% of it? Do you wanna own a business and own 49% of it? Because I'm gonna tell you this, 49% of something is really just about 0% of something. If you don't at least own 50-50 in something, you're kind of shit out of luck when the shit hits the fan. So my advice to you is in business, make sure you own all of it or a minimum 50% of something. So it's not just Thailand too. There's lots of other countries that make it extremely difficult to own land or to own property rather for foreigners. So England, very hard. Switzerland, very hard. Australia, very hard. Tons of places around the world make it extremely hard for foreigners, for Americans to buy land. But Mexico, hmm, Mexico figured it out a while back and figured out, hey, we're slowing down our economy. We need to change things around and we need to make it easy for Americans, for Canadians, for foreigners to come in and to help our economy grow. And remember guys, remember this, I am not a lawyer, I'm not a doctor, I'm just a handsome young man living here in Mexico, living my best life. So double check everything, do your own due diligence, but hey, let's get into this and let's talk about how you can own land on own property in Cabo. Now before I get into that guys, if you guys could please hit the like, subscribe and the little bell button so that way you guys get notified when I make more of these videos. So buying property in Mexico, there's gonna be three different types of property. There's going to be your restricted land, your unrestricted land, and your ajito land. So you're probably wondering like, what is restricted land? Well, let's go ahead and let's, let's read that. Uh, here, according to Article 27 of the Mexican Constitute, foreigners or foreign entities cannot have direct ownership to any lands 50 kilometers of the coastline or 100 kilometers of the border. So unlike Thailand where they didn't want that, they, they decided to switch it and make it actually extremely easy for you to come in and for you to buy property. So most of the property that foreigners want, that Americans want, that Canadians want is within this restricted land. We want the beachfront property. We want the beautiful resort lifestyle, things like that. So you're like, oh, it's restricted, I can't get it. No, actually, they did a very nice job, made it extremely easy, <laughs> easy, easy. They made it extremely easy and what they did was they created a trust. And actually, it's not even a trust, it's a simple piece of paper that allows the bank to keep it in your name. It's called a fideicomiso. And this is simply a trust where the bank holds it into your name. Now, you have to pay on this a very little bit of money, it depends. It can range from $500 to $1,000 a year. The second way that you can buy property in Mexico is setting up a Mexican corporation, a Mexican LLC. It would be similar to this back in the States. And then you can use this to buy property through in Mexico. Now, there's a lot of myths out there and things like this, like, okay, well, if I buy property and then I don't pay on my, I don't pay on my trust, on my fido comiso, then the bank can come in and they can just take my house. Not true, not true. All you have to do is just simply pay your back taxes or your back, uh, to basically pay your back taxes and you're good. There's, there's no issue, nobody's ever done that. Now on top of that, the fetal comiso, every 50 years, it just renews automatically and will continue to renew and renew and renew. Now the second myth is that you can't pass this down to your children. If you die, then the bank's just gonna come in and take your house. Also not true. 
you can pass this down to your children and your children's children and your children's children's children and, and so forth. Um, again, this trust is such a, it is set up in such a way to where the banks actually have zero, zero control over your, over your property. You have 100% control over the property. You only would have to pay them the taxes. They can never actually come in and take your property. Now we talked about the restricted zone. What about the unrestricted zone? Can you own property outside of this? And the answer is simple, yes, you can. So the third type of land that we have here in Mexico is called ejido land. And this is set up for agricultural purposes. Now this kind of land is something you wanna stay away from. Let's just be honest. There is ways that in which you can buy it and people do buy it, but it's very difficult and my advice to you is stay very far away from it or hire a very good lawyer that specializes in ajito land. So again, to answer your question, it is extremely easy to own property in Mexico. You don't need to be a resident. You don't need to get a residency. You can simply buy property and get a fido comiso, which is extremely easy. Everybody does it and own property and you own it 100%. You can pass it down to your children, your children's children and so forth. If you guys have any more questions, I can set you up with uh, uh, our lawyers. I have multiple lawyer friends that can you can talk to. If you guys have questions about capital gains, I can help you with that. Any questions that you have as, as far as regarding real estate, immigration, license, residency, um, anything, send me a message and I can help you guys. Instagram, BK Cabo, YouTube, BK Cabo, email brandon at cabocribs.com. Guys, I hope you guys had a wonderful day. If you guys could, please, please hit the like and subscribe. Please write a little comment in there. Don't care what it says, just write something. And I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. I'm thinking capital gains. Let's talk about that. Bye guys.